Hello everyone, uh, so obviously this is a different video than you would expect on this channel because primarily I do Rainbow Six Siege content, but also if you haven't been with me since like 2020, um, I do other games here and there, mostly F1, but also a little bit of Battlefield here and there. But today instead of Siege, uh, we're venturing into the world of Formula One, and the reason why, well today has been a sad day so far. If you don't know already, uh, my favorite driver currently is Sebastian Vettel, a German driver for Aston Martin, who is a four-time world champion. And previously, he's driven for Toro Rosso, Red Bull, Ferrari, and like I said, Aston Martin. Well, today, like I said, is a sad day because he has announced his retirement from Formula 1 at the end of this year. And some of you may think that I'm like overreacting, just creating a video for this, primarily because I'm a gaming channel. But you want to know how hard this hits for me personally. I experienced the same thing back in 2020 where my favorite NASCAR driver, Jimmy Johnson, uh, retired. Or well, he announced his retirement in 2019, but then he retired the year after. And honestly, just him retiring and seeing all the other veterans retire over the years kind of pushed me away from NASCAR. Not entirely, because I still watch it sometimes. But it's certainly not interesting when you don't really have a person to cheer on. I, and I can personally speak for some friends who had their favorite athletes retire in other series like, you know, NBA, MLB, NFL. And honestly, they, they've fallen out of love with those sports because, you know, their favorite athlete is not competing anymore. It's just not interesting and stuff like that. But with Formula One and Sebastian Vettel, it just all feels weird that he's not going to be in the sport anymore after... 2022. The same thing could be said um, about Kimi Raikkonen because he was a former teammate of Vettel when they both were in Ferrari and it, it just feels kind of empty without him too, you know? But even though it's a dark time now, uh, there is a bright side to it and it's that, you know, he'll be escaping that freaking green tin can of a car that they call the AMR22 and he won't be running in like 15th to 18th place. So. <laughs> Getting serious here, you would not believe how bad that car is compared to last year's car, like... I, I'm still surprised that Seb, like, it, I'll put the results up on the screen, but... I cannot believe he took this green sprite can of a car to 6th place in Azerbaijan. Like, this car, I think, uh, if I'm correct, it's like the ninth fastest car out of the 10th, out of like the 10 cars that are in the series. It's, it's insane. Getting back on track, um... Yeah, I get to cheer on a new driver and new team next year, so at least that's interesting as well. Um, but all in all, it's going to feel really empty without him. And, uh, I mean, we still have veterans such as Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso, but just seeing Vettel go is just hard, almost like how I said with Kimi Raikkonen, because it's just like watching all your childhood friends just drift away from you, you know, and you're never going to see them again. Oh, and speaking about Alonso and Hamilton, uh, I have this photo to show. This is from the class of 2008 photo. Um, I think they took at Australia, Albert Park. And you can see that most of these drivers are like already gone, like they're grayed out because they either, well, they mostly retired and they moved on to other series or they just retired fully and went back to their families. But except for these two motherfuckers right here, Alonso and Hamilton, these two will be staying in 2023 and possibly beyond until they retire and it's really insane considering Alonso started in 2001 and Hamilton in 2007 around the same time Vettel did. All right enough of that and now on to the emotional part maybe. I've been watching F1 since uh, 2019 and I remember seeing Seb with the uh, Canadian Grand Prix mess you know where he moved the signs and got that penalty and even though I didn't know what was going on, because it was my first F1 race that I really paid attention to, I still became a fan of his and even got to witness multiple podiums and uh, possibly his last win in Singapore later that year. But of course, I went back and I watched the old races in the uh, earlier decades where he won his championships uh, from 2010 all the way to 2013. But in general, I'm I'm really gonna miss him. Like, even though I've been a fan for like three years now, it, it really feels like it's been a long time since I've been a fan of his. It, it's crazy. Like, the deeds that he has done on and off the track is truly inspirational. And to me, it, it truly has inspired me to be a better person 
and even taught me a little life lesson too. I'll be showing pictures and maybe some videos of what he does, but he's reminded me that, you know, no matter what life may throw at you, you just gotta keep pushing regardless. I know it's a corny quote to go by, or like to live by, I should say, but hey, he's the guy that reminds me of it, so I think that's good for me. Anyways, as we're nearing the end of this video, uh, I hope you guys don't mind this type of video. Uh, this has been something that's been on my mind like all day, and it's really hitting me hard right now. And to get a sense of what it was like for me, I basically woke up like two minutes after they put out that uh, announcement that he was retiring. Instead of just a boring outro, I will leave you with one of the quotes that honestly have stuck with many F1 fans. It's, this is from the 2013 United States Grand Prix after he won the race, and I think most of you could use it. Uh, but for now, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in a new video very soon. Have a good one. We have to remember these days. Because there's no guarantee that they will last forever. Enjoy them as long as they last. I love you guys.